Okay. There is a lot of things going on in the world of Python and hardware. I can't wait. PyCon is coming up. It is May 1st to 9th. Ooh, that's soon. Yep, the schedule was just posted. Um, also, we announced and word got out, DigiKey and Adafruit are teaming up to get Python on hardware to as many people as possible. There will be about 4,000 of special edition Adafruit Circuit Playground Express boards running, as you guessed it, CircuitPython. Yay! The team will be there. Dan, Katney, and Scott, as well as Mick and Melissa, also Brent, and they'll be doing uh, an open session, they'll be doing some workshops, there'll be lots of stuff going on and more, so this is a big effort, and if you're thinking of going to PyCon, this is just one more reason, and also on the social medias and in discords, thank DigiKey, they made this happen, thank you so much, DigiKey, Yay. we very much appreciate it. Um, other news in the community, um, we got up to 300 folks in github uh oh, sorry in uh reddit. github's the next one more than a thousand this, on this is reddit um we helped some folks over the weekend on um their pi portal so uh this we're in reddit, out. Helping out there um and then for github which i was mentioning before one thousand thanks thanks for um adding a star on our repo it lets us know we're doing a pretty good job um, Dan posted this up. This is on the blog. Adam is a popular multi-platform text editor with excellent Python support, and it's great to use with CircuitPython. But out of the box, it might not edit the files on a Circuit Pi drive, and that's what shows up as a USB drive, because it doesn't force all the data in a file to be written out immediately. Now there is a fix. It is uh, better. It is now safe, and it is um, working. Yep, so. it's called F-Sync on save. It's a yeah. good idea, and honestly, like... Yeah, I would just install it. I use it all the time. Yep. It doesn't make editing slow or anything. It just means you always read out all the data every time. Okay. Um, while back, Microchip has a cool digital magazine, and I think it's a print magazine, too, in Design Quarter, and we did an article with them, Python on Microcontrollers, and this was last year. And then this year is the IoT Design Week, and we'll be giving away the Pi Portals, and I'm going to be spending a lot of time on that in just a moment, but this is the first mention of it. I'm going to go into more details later. Hackspace Magazine, um, Circuit... Python snaked its way onto that. Um, Sophie has some amazing articles. This is Circuit oh, Python a cool helmet. on a cosplay helmet. Yeah, and she showed that off on the show and tell two weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, this was kind of neat. You normally don't see reviews of soil sensors, but ours got a 9 out of 10 nice. in Hackspace Magazine, and this is a Circuit Python powered soil sensor. Yep, it's capacitive, so it doesn't oxidize. It uses I2C because you so can use it with a Raspberry Pi or Arduino or anything. I designed it because I was you were you kept asking me how come there's no good soil sensors and I was like I don't know I don't know and you're like well why don't you design one I'm like "Uh," and then eventually I was like I can't take it anymore I designed it nine out of ten next up uh, they reviewed the Grand Central it also got a nine out of ten and this is the Circuit Python powered monster Um, and there's some in stock and there's some in stock couple left okay we're making more other Circuit Python news Um, this is a um, it's a cool story it's also you know it's a puppy so it's a little sad. Um, this is Lucy. This is a seven-year-old border collie, and um, the the dog is going blind, and so there's no cure. So Bud, the owner, purchased a halo. It's a metal hoop that surrounds her head. Um, so if she gets too close to an object, the halo will collide um, with that instead of her head. Um, but uh, the the thing that has to happen is how do you get notified? How do you you know noise? And there's lots of different things. So um, he started to build something using Circuit Python. So check it out. All right, Circuit yeah. Python for dogs. Yeah. Um, then this is kind of neat. This is uh, this is one of those timers. It's the Pomodoro timer. Yeah, that um, it lets you know, you know, when you're like it's like time not to work. Yeah, but, you're supposed to work for you know 15 minute chunks. I think this is sped up, and then you can take a five minute break, and so it kind of keeps yeah. you from. For some people, it helps them from like burning out because they get to take breaks often, and you're forced to take a break, and so you just pull your break time into that like one dedicated zone um pi portals have made it out into the world and this is from the monroe cic center i believe this is ibm center and uh ron made this to figure out how many people have i think visited or attended did they hit their forecast and they were up to 96 percent. so that's kind of so it's kind of interesting they you know it's very easy with pi portal you just change the image and then you can just have json data from somewhere on the internet and you can display it and in this case it's 96 percent. and it's got these beautiful fonts that scott and and katney and dan worked on to get into pi portal um, so you can display it in any font size you want and uh, any color. Another project, this is Twitter followers. Uh, this is Dave's alarm clock, and I'll play uh, a little video. This is what uh, it looks like when it's in use. It brews coffee as well. It does yeah, weather. Yeah, there's some IoT coffee thing. And it also has uh, an alarm once you set it, and it'll uh, tell you when 
to get up. Yeah. I don't know, and went to, and went this to, is the Elkar's interface theme. Yeah. And so it will have a very cool Star trek -y. Yeah, it gets the weather. So it kind of takes yeah. all of our demos and combines it gets time, weather. <laughs> yeah. Alarm. So I'm going to show. Coffee brewing. Yeah. So you can see. The letters you yeah and you can you can use gestures so to change the time you drag yeah time so there it goes very interesting and then it's the alarm yeah all right uh make a to figure it out that yep the latest circuit python beta you can show terminal even on the Halloween. we also have a cool hackster demo yeah. we published the bitcoin uh example so this is their bitcoin net worth it'll calculate yeah, how much your Bitcoin's worth. Um, then we have the weather demo. Uh, we started playing around with this idea where maybe we can bring HyperCard, HyperCard back to, uh, you know, the hands of everyday people now who uh, maybe necessarily haven't seen HyperCard. So we have Button going. Start with Buttons. Chicago yeah. font. Look at that. Nice. And then uh, we showed a preview. Um, we're going to show this in, maybe it's, it's not out yet. This is uh, CircuitPython on a flexible e-ink. It's and very then, interesting. Yeah. And then Game of Thrones is coming out. So we have a IOT, a GOT IOT. Yeah. And this is a Game of Thrones and a... Freak out. Yeah. And this is the Pi Portal. Um, I think it was, uh, this is the first time I was testing it. So I didn't even know if it was going to work. Only took a couple minutes. Got the time. Put in the date when the next Game of Thrones is going to... I did a special build for you where it's yeah. rotated. Like I want it to be because the, all the images they released were for phones, so they're uh, portrait, not uh, landscape. But then yeah. it sings the Game of Thrones song. <laughs> That's right. In I think chiptune, you find a chiptune version. That's right. And then, you just have to think of stuff and you find it on the internet. No, I know. And like I actually found we found a font and everything, so yeah. we, could, we could display the time and. So. This was a little while ago, so it's less than 44 days, so you can see what Yeah. Um, we got our little uh, new product display going. This is how many Ada boxes. We're lucky at an Ada box display. There's a lot less than that now. We showed off this uh, keyboard uh, to UART. Mm-hmm. No and Pedro have an upcoming project. This was kind of a, a secret project. This is a uh, Internet of Things Viewmaster. So imagine being able to pull down images off the Internet in uh, Viewmaster style. So we'll have that soon. Uh, we had some help wanted. This is uh, something that's happening a lot now. People are looking for people with Circuit Python skills. Mm. So um, that's kind of neat. People are saying they have Circuit Python skills, and then they're saying that they want people with Circuit Python skills. So that's kind of neat. Uh, this is from Grogard, and this is kind of neat. This is from uh, Giant Board, and this was monitoring one Giant Board power consumption with another, and then uploading it for Adafruit I.O. So it's kind of Are they of using our INA Featherwing? Yeah, so they're using our INA 219 Featherwing, which is designed for power monitoring, and then, yeah, you can just use it to power monitor anything. GoGuard is adding Wi-Fi to the giant board Linux Feather. This is kind of a cool rendering. And then uh, Cedar Grove is always busy. This is an EREC module that uh, compares CV signals. Companders. Yeah, the CV input is amplified or attenuated and limited to a quantized output range. So this is using uh, an Adafruit Itsy Bitsy M4 Express. Um, and other news. Man, you know you're really into analog synthesizers when you're like doing companders. Yeah. Circuit Python snakes its way to the SAM32. Um, this it's is a another SAMD, board. It's a SAMD51 yeah. plus an ESP32. It's not hooked up the same way the Pi Portal is, a little bit different, yeah. um, but it also has a micro SD card. I like this board, it's got yeah. everything on it. It's it feather shaped. Cool. Nice work. And this is a cool uh, project. This is uh, a USB host coprocessor. It uses CircuitPython, MicroPython. And this totally inspired me. I was like, oh my god, I, this is a good idea. We should make that. So I made yep. that. <laughs> and next up, this is for um, folks that want to do games. Uh, it's an online Python editor for Paquito. Uh, it's a free tool that enables you to write and test MicroPython programs and uh, create the binary and uh, test it right there. There's more. Um, Python and MicroPython and CircuitPython on calculators, making the rounds. Also, uh, little uh, little VGL is a high-level GUI library. It's implemented C, its API is in C, and it works with MicroPython. So I'm really interested in implementing this for Arduino for our Adafruit GFX library. So that'll be that'll be interesting. That'll be cool. 
Okay. If you're interested in uh, getting an IoT on the blockchain using Python and ESP8266, yes, you can do all those buzzwords. Um, I've been following this. Keith has been working on this um, a Python. It's a very, very tiny version of Python that runs on like AVR or, or Uno. Like 8 bit, yeah. yeah. It is minimal. So it's minimal, minimal, minimal. So this is really neat. And I think it was because he was teaching kids uh, Lego stuff for somebody. He's like, I want to get Python to run on in, in AVR. So it's like, wow, all right. Um, BeagleBone has a BeagleBone AI. We're going to see if Blinker runs on this. Uh, this is a cool Python on hardware project that is uh, basically a free open source version of um, Stream Deck. So, yeah, you can leave your own yeah. Python API with, with direct USB so you yep. don't have to use their software. This is uh, Hack My House, an article from Hackaday. It's uh, using Raspberry Pi as a touchscreen thermostat. Um, this is the latest version of um, Platform I.O. and it supports Adafruit's NRF52 boards. Oh, great. Yep. Then there's the latest version of um, Visual Studio, the February 2019 release. Um, there's updates for Python. Check that out. Um, reminder of some events coming up. KaiCon 2019, we're a sponsor. There is the um, MicroPython meetup in London, and Nicholas Toll's going to be there. And he's going to be talking about Moo and CircuitPython. Um, all this stuff is in our GitHub repository. Wait, who's that, on the, who's that on the left there? Maybe you'll find out later. Oh. Um, we have all of the libraries. We're still asking for folks to help with the messages in different human languages. Translate, translate, translate. We're Even if Discord, you're not a technical person, you can help. All the time. Um, 10,000 people plus in the Discord community. It's all part of our Code Plus community with Python. If you missed any of these things, don't worry, you can eat your own tail. Um, no, it's on awesome-circuit-python. Uh, if you search for it, it's on GitHub. It's our awesome list. We update it all the time. And that is all the Python and hardware news that I could fit in this Whew. this week. i got to keep moving, though. Yeah, let's go.